morning to everyone and thank you chandra uh, this uh, power and uh, pneumatic equipments we commonly use and at the same time we do face uh, problems number of times so we have to take a special care to keep them uh, in function all the time so first i'll 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 jump on to the sterilization of these equipments they are sterilized by the steam hot air ethylene oxide or plasma and the formaldehyde sterilization are not the recommended methods and can be autoclaved at 121 degree temperature in a proper containers the containers has to be proper and should be packed and labeled for the uh, proper usage proper storage later on so uh, special uh, mention about the sterilization of the hose inlet and outlets of the hose should be un uncoupled during the sterilization to avoid damage and the bursting of the hose otherwise whatever the air is inside the hose will get enlarged and uh, the the, the, uh, the hose can burst so tool should be removed from the hose so no no drill drill machine or the saw machine should be attached while it is sterilizing the cooling time of this uh, hose is 2 to 3 hours so we have to wait at least the, the hose has to be cooled down before we uh, use it the hose should be kept in a separate tray on uh, or in the cloth bag if we don't have separate uh, separate tray facility then you you put the hose in the uh, this cloth bag so that uh, it it will not get in touch with the other uh, stainless steel instruments the hose should be loosely ro rolled in the tray so sometimes we coil the whole hose very in a, um, very tightly then the, that uh, the, the, it will it will get damaged with the uh, uh, temperature now the about the cooling they do not use drill when it is hot do not accelerate the cooling process as it will damage the uh, electro electronic components of the power drill and uh, rotors of the head so what happens uh, the outer outer shell of the, uh, the drill drill machine is of very hard material and so when it gets expanded uh, it takes long time to get expanded expansion also and it, it takes long time for the cooling also while the inner machine uh, components they are of soft metal suppose rotors if they are they are very soft so they enlarge more than the outer shell so if it takes long time for them to cool because they are inside the machine so if they are not cooled properly or given it a adequate time and you start using the drill then the rotors are expanded and they will have friction with the outer shell and you will get damage of the rotor so your drill machine will be getting damage in a short time so the 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 book which has uh, which is, the book which the eo has published for the care of the instruments they have mentioned the cooling time for the drill machine is 10 to 14 hours so if you want to use the uh, the machine in a nice way it they should be cooled out for uh, cooled out for uh, 10 to 14 hours and sometimes we have only one machine and we we we, we go on doing surgery in a su uh, successive uh, time then our machines will be getting damage so this is a care which everyone has to take uh, for the uh, 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 maintaining of this one so when it is hot use will damage the all the rotors the cleaning after surgery is also utmost of utmost important uh, manual is cleaning is usually there with the soft water do not immerse the drill machine in the water water should not enter in the air inlet so we have to keep the inlet downwards and then uh, then allow the water to uh, uh, shade on the drill do not use the ionizer or the chemical so don't don't uh, don't use this kind of uh, cleaning uh, methods uh, moisture inside the inside can jam the motor so if there is any moisture inside the uh, inlet or in the drill machine that will jam the uh, uh, drill machine wipe and dry with the pressurized air air with nozzle so this will this, uh, uh, all the cannulated machines and even the inlet you can you can blow the air with the jet uh, air jet so that will get dry very easily the cannulated parts that be as as we have already discussed they should be cleaned with the nylon brushes as well as the pressure air jet so that they, it can it can push the, all the debris from the canal and uh, uh, it will get dry also oiling is very important to keep the machines in updated and uh, oiling should be done only on the dry tools if the, there is any moisture on the drill or any part any parts you should not oil it it will it will make a paste on it and it will get jams after each use apply around 5 drops of this synthesis uh, special oil into the air inlet 
and the uh, uh, inlet of the uh, clean power tool connect the power to the uh, double hose using a lubrication adapter and wrap the gauze or a cloth around the uh, hose coupling to absorb the existing oil and run the drill for about uh, a few seconds so all the debris which is inside they will come out in the gauze piece so he, here the double hose should not be kept you should you either use a single hose or keep a moisturized hose this is a simple this is a, a simple uh, 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 pictures of this how to put the oil inside and the other parts and uh, uh, the synthesis oil is a special oil and at the same time not only drill machine but all other parts which has a movement they should be oiled every time uh, we finish the uh, uh, use of that drill so uh, quick coupling chuck and the shanks many attachments and the knobs and they, they all should be lubricated every time the source of this uh, uh, pressure is uh, we have a cylinder or we have a uh, compressor but never use a oxygen in emergency or anywhere oxygen you, you may invite a uh, catastrophe in form of blast or fire so it the the pneumatic instruments they need a, a filter they need a uh, uh, pressure regulators as well as uh, uh, the hose is uh, attached to all this so, so all the air will be getting filtered and the compressed air becomes a sterile as soon as the air comes under compressor uh, it becomes sterile all these uh, organisms they get die and the moisture in the air settles as a water at the, at the bottom of the container it need emptying of the water from the tank and the micro filters and the chambers also should be repeatedly uh, evacuated the uh, it creates a turbulence near the operative field and uh, there is a threat of infection so we, we should use a double hose and the diffusers so that the, the existing air exiting air will go uh, away from the operative site the uh, to increase the efficacy uh, we, these are the equipment suppose these are the diffusers and uh, this is these are the different filters and these are the different filters available from the eu of course they are expensive but it's worthwhile having them and the hose as as i said this it should be it should not have any kink and it should be rolled very lavishly few words about this uh, electric power tools so we have different uh, uh, power tools trs and then the uh, colibri then the uh, our old uh, bpl and we we should have a special charger for that now a universal charger is available through which you, you can uh, uh, you can charge all kind of batteries the, the uh, to take the care of the chargers keep it unplugged when not in use don't keep it on every time unplug before the cleaning if you want to clean the charger uh, 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 we have to unplug it do not sterilize wash rinse or drop or apply force to avoid a possible secondary damage so we have to be very careful while using the uh, while inserting the uh, this uh, batteries inside and we should clean it with the uh, uh, very soft uh, uh, soft uh, cloth so that there should not be any uh, scratch or other things on it if necessary clean the uh, the connecting points uh, in the charger bay with the uh, soft uh, cloth and do not touch both the both the contacts at a time sometimes we touch if we try to clean we we may touch the both the contacts at a time but one should not do that and uh, the damp cloth should not be in uh, contact with this uh, uh, two points where from where the charging starts there may be a danger of a uh, short circuiting yes so avoid contact time. of this device with the fluid so fluid should not be in touch with the charger the batteries uh, they are this lithium iron batteries and do not autoclave batteries do not wash them or rinse them clean the contact points avoid uses in the presence of uh, uh, oxygen nitrous oxide or other any inflammatory anesthetic gases in the vicinity of the use use surgical site and look for the overheating and wipe with a 70% alcohol disinfectant or the we can say a uh, 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 liquid which has not hundred percent alcohol. Sir, please conclude. Okay. Last thing: in, ensure the right storage of the power tools. So we they should be stored in a uh, dry and clean place and maintain their efficacy. Moisture can corrode the electric uh, electrical components as well as the deteriorate the body of this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.